I've got a leg ulcer, I've had it for 26 years and it hasn't healed up and I've got referred from the dermatology department to have some hyperbaric treatment on it. Like most patients, Louisa Beecham had no idea what to expect when she was referred to the hyperbaric medical centre. Very apprehensive because I'm claustrophobic and it was the thought of being in a confined space that I thought, do I really want to do this? But I've got to get my treatment done, so to tr try and heal it up. So I thought, right, I'll go for it. So I did. For many patients, starting treatment here at the Hyperbaric Medical Centre can be a daunting time. They may have gone through weeks, months or even years of unsuccessful treatments and therapies, all to no avail. So when they come here, perhaps their hopes aren't high, but they're the lucky ones. They've got a GP or consultant who recognises the remarkable results that can be achieved here. The benefits we actually notice on a practical sense are that we, we have a number of patients, the patients we're sending here, they're at risk of losing limbs and that's and they failed on conventional treatment. In a sense a lot of the people here, coming here have nothing to lose um, and we've avoided amputations in a number of people that all the members of our foot clinic, the surgeons, the podiatrists, the diabetologists have thought we're heading for amputations, we managed to avoid amputations and I think that's an extremely positive outcome. The patients themselves value it, they get a thorough assessment they get much more than hyperbaric oxygen when they come here. They get full tissue care and they're seen daily. Even when they finish their hyperbaric oxygen therapy, when they remain under follow-up, they get daily wound care. In the US, hyperbaric medicine is much more common. Although it's sometimes seen as less mainstream in the UK, those who have witnessed the results are convinced of its effectiveness. For different conditions, um, sort of different ways that hyperbaric oxygen therapy is thought to help, um, one is to just increase oxygen delivery to tissue. So for instance in a wound, there's not enough oxygen getting there. If we can get more oxygen to the wound, that can help fight infection um, and help the tissues sort of regrow um, and improve blood supply to an area. All patients are invited to the centre for an initial assessment and the team are always happy to answer any questions about the therapy. Other patients are also quick to reassure anyone who may be nervous. Don't be afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of at all. It's, um, and after a few sessions, you do really get used to it. It doesn't hurt or anything. Just a bit boring, that's all. Patients frequently have one or two daily sessions over a prolonged period, and a bond quickly forms with staff, others who are undergoing treatment, and their family members. Fabulous. It's a real family atmosphere. Everybody makes you really welcome. Um, I think being in the chamber with other people helps the other patients as well. Uh, they support each other as to what they're going through. Many of the patients will have come to the centre after a long, torturous journey through the health system. Some have described it as their last resort. Their hopes are resting on hyperbaric medicine. It's a responsibility that the staff take very seriously indeed as they follow the progress of each individual. We can see you know, the before and the after, so we, you, you've got a very a physical picture of, of progressions of wounds, but it's more than that, it's how it affects their lives, their jobs, how they live, the, the, looking at the whole, the whole person and their families.